thought it would be beneficial and constructive to create a brief screencasting tutorial on some of the features of Google's search engine that some people might not yet be aware of. One of the neat features of Google's functionality is that you can find the time of anywhere in the world. All you have to do is type in time and then colon and then in this instance I put in Britain and you see it's 4.02 p.m. on Friday. Let's say you want to find the time in uh, Japan. Again you type in time and colon and then you put in Japan and you see here it's 12.02 in the morning on Saturday. Uh, say you want to find the time in Sri Lanka. Type in Sri Lanka, uh, hit search and we see that it's 8.32 p.m. on Friday at the time that I typed that in. Again the key is to type in time then colon and then you type in the place that you want to find uh, the time for. Here I put in Canberra, Australia and I see that it's 102 a.m. on Saturday. The second neat feature of Google functionality that I wanted to share was that you can find the area code of any place in the country. Let's say I type in 912 and hit search. Here we come up with uh, southern Georgia including Savannah. Uh, say I go up and I type in uh, 310 and click search. And we get back the result of Santa Monica, California. Let's try one more. Let's go up here and we'll type in 206 and hit search. And here we see that we get the result of Seattle, Washington. Some people might not be aware of various unique ways that you can make Google's search algorithm more effective. If you put a phrase that's very important to you in the quotation marks, oftentimes that will make the algorithm have a more targeted search. Here I'm putting in how many Grand Slam titles did Pete Sampras win and I have Grand Slam in quotation marks. Then when we hit uh, search we see that uh, a lot of the search uh, results have that exact phrase in there. Another uh, way that you can make Google's algorithm more effective is to put a plus sign in front of relevant or very important words. Here I put uh, how old is Marat Soften and I put a plus sign in front of old and as you can see when we get our search results uh, the, old, the word old is highlighted in bold which means that Google's search algorithm specifically looked for that word. And a third way that you can make Google's uh, search algorithm more effective is to use Boolean search terms like and or and not. Here I'm typing in how many French Open and US Open titles does Roger Federer have and I use the word of course and as a boolean search term and then when I press search Google's uh, algorithm will highlight the word and which is what it specifically looked for uh, in its search, uh, its search for what you were asking for. Let's now see how we can utilize Google's incredible search functionality to facilitate word definement. Here I'll type in the word perspicacity. I'll go over and I'll hit the Google search button, scroll over, and we'll see various results for the definement of that word. The way that was done is that you type in define and colon, then space, and then the word that you want defined. Let's uh, do another one. Let's uh, type in vivacious hit the search button and again we'll see various uh, results for the definement of that word but the interesting thing is that it will also give us information on uh, various media and other things that are associated with that word like here it will give us uh, the band vivacity which is connected with the word vivacious let's do one more let's type in the word plastic uh, hit search button and we'll scroll over and see again various results for the definement of the word plastic and again, the very unique thing is that it'll give you information like Mean Girls, a 2004 American comedy that is associated with the word plastic. Let's see what happens when we take out define and colon and just use plastic. And as you can see, it won't give you a lot of the neat uh, definitions that are so handy uh, to use. To conclude, let's see how we can utilize the awesome paradigm shifting functionality of Google to solve math problems. Let's type in the number 97,888 and we'll divide that by 2. We'll hit the search button and we see that we're rendered an answer of 48,944. Now let's go ahead and type in the number 987,455 and we'll multiply that by 479,855 
and we see that we're rendered an answer of 473 billion 835 million 219 thousand 25 and lastly let's go ahead and type in the number 784 thousand 521 and we'll add that to 69,877 and we're rendered an answer of 854,398.